few cars in the world that can attract a crowd quite like this. The Koenigsegg Agera R. How ridiculous is this spec? You can see the polished purple carbon fiber. I mean, just look at that. So this is a one of one. It's the Zidgen, maybe? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, this is powered by a five liter twin turbocharged V8 that produces a whopping 1124 horsepower so the theoretical top speed on this car is 273 miles per hour of course that would be faster than the bugatti veyron super sport um, but it's never actually achieved that speed zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds you can see the ghost right up there i mean just this car this spec is incredible Oh, the want is real. So the owner just opened up the door for us. How cool is that? Take a look inside and see the polished gold accents. So insane with the purple interior.
just bumped into this pretty sick spec McLaren 675LT here on Monaco plates. This one's finished in chicane gray. It has the electric green brake calipers. Nice, nice looking car. Oh look, a wild Schmee and a Fiat 500. Hashtag Blue Crew. In all seriousness though, this 675LT owned by Schmee 150 is gorgeous. This blue color is superb. Of course the 675LT has 666 horsepower, 3.8 liter twin turbo V8. And just this color is just incredible. So this is a completely random spotting. I don't actually know where the Shmi is, but his car is looking good. Another McLaren P1, of course sitting in race mode. So this is a slightly different color than the yellow one we saw yesterday. You might recognize this color. It's the same paint scheme as the Phoenix Gold on the BMW M4. You'll also notice that it says McLaren P1 right there. It says McLaren P1 right there. McLaren P1 right there. And just for good measure on the air brake, McLaren P1. Just in case you guys didn't know what the car was. Oh look, a Ferrari Enzo. How convenient is that? So in yesterday's video, I completely forgot to answer the second part of that question. What do I think of the Enzo? It's incredible. I mean, it's a Ferrari Enzo. It's named after the founder of Ferrari. They only built 399 of them. I mean, this was one of my halo cars as a kid. So to see it here on the streets of London is incredible. All right, so we are filling up the Volkswagen Polo with fuel. So one of the most common questions I received in my last video, is London expensive? Yes, it is insanely expensive. So for example, to fill up this Polo was 44 pounds. So they price their fuel here um, on a per liter basis. It is one pound, 13 pence per liter. So if we do a quick conversion, that equates to $7.65 per gallon. Pretty much three times more expensive for fuel here in London. Uh, so yes, it is very, very expensive here. Chrome red flying spur. Fun ticket. London has been off the charts. So of course, we have a Bugatti Veyron. And of course, it got a parking ticket as well. It seems like half the hyper cars I've seen on this trip have received parking tickets and I just don't think any of them really care that much. You like my car? <laughs> AMG Black Series. How sick is this? It's amazing what a couple uh, extra millimeters on the fenders will do to a car. It looks so much more aggressive. So the Black Series, there's only 150 of them in the world. Take a look at that carbon fiber. Super, super rare. So the Black Series has an extra 40 horsepower over the standard SLS, zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Get a look at that carbon fiber diffuser, AMG on the exhaust tips. What a mean car. What's also pretty cool, you've probably noticed in a lot of the videos, cars like that, the Bentley Mulsanne, or the Bentley Flying Spur, or the Rolls Royce Ghost, these cars are everywhere in London. Every single shot, I feel like one of these is in the background. Yeah, it's pretty crazy here. 
All right, so to give you guys an idea of how expensive London is, check out the price on this place. 15,000 pounds per week to rent this thing. That is approximately 23,000 US dollars. Let's see, what else can we find? This place is a cool nearly 9 million pounds. 6 million pounds for that one. Oh, check this one out. 18 million pounds. That is 27 million US dollars if you want to buy that place. Yeah, London is not the place to be cheap. So this is the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren Edition. Basically, McLaren was much more heavily involved in this car. You can see that there is McLaren badging all over it. This was the final special edition of the SLR. This car actually came after the SL Sterling Moss. So there were 75 Sterling Mosses produced. There's only 25 of this special McLaren edition. You can see these vents are much different. You can see the louvers there. The front bumper has been totally revised. Pretty crazy to see one of these. So this kit is an additional 150,000 pounds more than the standard SLR. In US dollars, that is $225,000. You can see it has the McLaren badges there on the wheel caps. Pretty, pretty cool to see this thing. An absolutely mental day car spotting here in London. And I'm allowed to say mental because I'm in the UK. And to finish it off, the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. Absolutely stunning. It's finished in a beige creamish color. So, so cool. This is the third Veyron we've seen now during our short stay in London. This one is on Dubai plates. You can see the ghost up there is on very similar plates as well. London is just out of control. I mean, it is miles and miles better than anywhere in North America. I mean, in one day, I can't even begin to count the number of supercars we've seen. So we are headed to Goodwood tomorrow at 4 a.m. Um, so that we can get there before all the supercars arrive. So we're gonna get home, get some sleep.